I have been wanting to do a pick and drop hairstyle but that seemed impossible because my hair is still in its natural state. So I decided to use the boho braids method and it's worked. Here I reached out to a friend to help me braid my hair into small sections because I needed clean patterns. After that I oiled and massaged my scalp. For this hairstyle I'll be using a scissors a crochet needle and the hair extension i'll be leaving details of the hair extension in my description box in case you're interested what attracted me to this hair was the color i loved the color combination i did not know that the hair was braided or twisted at the roots so here is me unraveling the twist and this is the first mistake i made i separated the hair i forcefully separated it from the middle like that and it got tangled so this is my second attempt i cut it first before separating and it was much easier though i lost most of the definition so i asked my friend not to braid my hair to the tip so she twisted the tips so it is easy for me to take down the twisted part so here i'm just attaching the hair extension to my natural hair so i'll just braid it until my natural hair is covered entirely before i now secure it properly and this is how the hair looks like now i'll go ahead and crochet two more pieces on the same braid this time, I'm taking it very close to the roots. And another one in the middle. So this is three. Three crochet on a braid. But along the line, I noticed that the hair was not as full as I wanted. So I added two more. So you're going to see how I'll be doing this at the front. So like I did before, I first of all attached the hair extension to the tip of the hair. I braided it until I covered my entire hair. Then after that, I now move over to the body of the hair. So that is the first extension. So here I'm adding the second extension, not so far away from the first. And I'm going to do the same thing again. So this is the third one. Then I go up a bit, the fourth one. Then the last one, which is very close to the roots. I noticed that my roots was looking scanty so that was why I decided to add the hair to the roots and this is what has helped the hair to look as full as it is right now so this is it this is what it looks like so I'll go ahead and finish off the rest of the hair so here I am done with the crochet I'll just go ahead and trim the hair in small sections because I don't want to over trim now if you look closely you'll see that I have lost more than 60% of the definition that came with the extension but I don't mind I think I still love it the way it is I know that soaking the hair in water would have helped but I just do not want to go through all that next time i'll definitely try that it would have helped with the definition but i forcefully separated the hair and i ended up losing more than 60 percent of the definition but i'm still happy with the results so next i'm going in with my hair mousse this will help the hair to stay defined 
and I intend to carry this hair for two weeks or more. After this, I'll go ahead and style the hair however I want. So I spent over three hours installing the crochet. This is apart from the time that was used in braiding. It's easy, it's beautiful. I love the hair. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed creating this look. Please do not forget to like, subscribe and hit on that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my natural hair tips and tricks.